Hi, my name is Katie Sparks. I'm 17 years old, and this monologue is called Tassie Suffers. My day? You want to hear about my day? No, you don't. Does anyone really give a damn about my day? No. But you asked, so I'll tell you. Today I spent about three and a half hours in line waiting for another goddamn audition. I know, I know. But it's for this new avant-garde theater group that was going to do the cherry orchard in a totally wild way. Outdoors in a real forest. Yes! And everyone gets to chop down a tree. So hey, I went. And there must have been over a hundred people there. Several with sharpened axes. Why didn't I think of that? All I had was my peasant apron, my red babushka guns, and heavy boots. But I looked terrific. For what? Because just as I'm nearing the head of the line, just as I'm up to my ass and emotional borscht, the word came out. They changed the play. You heard me. Changed it. Four from the door, and it's now an untitled comedy about a vegetable market in Trenton, New Jersey. Is that stupid? But there were three roles for women. A ghetto teen, tough, but who secretly reads Plato. An aging produce woman who once had an affair with Fidel Castro. <laughs> remember him, and an oversex librarian who loves young boys more than she loves old books. When I read that list, I flipped. I'm right for all of them! But now I'm standing at the door and I'm still wearing my goddamn boots. I am so screwed. Next! I go in. Okay, Tassie, so you know what to do. Just take a deep breath, relax, and improvise. Improvise? Improvise what? Improvise! We want to see what you can do. Be free, have fun, enjoy. Have fun? Enjoy? You nitwit! Have you been standing in line since Tuesday? My hands are wet, my throat is dry, and who the hell am I supposed to be? The tomato selling cubophile? The philosophic juvenile? Or the oversex pedophile? They waited. I waited, and then it happened. I exploded. I burst into the single greatest audition given anywhere by anyone. I was all three at once. A Cuban cashier telling an eight-year-old Plato to shut his goddamn mouth in the library. Then I was a New Jersey dictator stealing fruit from an aging teenager who wanted more from life than papayas and apples, and more, and more. I went up, down, in, and out, and beyond in an incredible torrent of amazingly perfect choices. I was walking, dancing, leaping, and loving all at once as three different people. Acting? <laughs> Above acting! Vision, baby, vision! I flared, I seared, I was fire. And then, when it was all over, I stood panting in the silence that can only be described as enchanted. They waited, I waited, and finally, one of them, a man who looked sort of worried, said, thank you, that was very interesting. Interesting? Is the goddamn Venus de Milo interesting? Thank you, uh, Miss Manson. Do you want your picture? And so I left. Again. I walked out, but I was great. They may not know it because they measure me against themselves, but I know what I did today. And so do you. And what do they know anyways, huh? Bunch of murderers. Well, no, of course. I'm a little upset, a little depressed, but I'll be fine. So that was my day. Okay, now how the hell was yours? Thank you.